Hey YouTube, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of Tech Void. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install and run a virtual machine. Uh, what I'm going to be using is VMware Player. So, let's get started. For you guys who don't have VMware Player, it's a free program. You can download it. It's It comes with VMware Workstation as well, but that's a demo. VMware Player is good enough to run all of your virtual machines for free. So here's what we're going to do. First we run the VMware Player, then we click on create a new virtual machine. Um, we're going to be, if you guys already have a disk with the operating system on it, then you can use that. But what I'm going to do is, I have an ISO image. Uh, so we're gonna go browse we're gonna go to uh, what operating system let's go Windows XP 32 bit well no sorry 64 bit right there we go okay so we click OK we run that okay now we're gonna click next it'll ask you for a product key so if you guys don't have one you can leave this blank for now uh password that's optional you could put anything in there uh for future demo purposes i'm just gonna keep this here as tech void tech void so actually the purpose of this here for me to put a password here is i'm gonna be doing a f video in the future on how to crack the password on your Windows XP or Vista or 7 machines so this will come in handy in the future so click next you did not enter a Windows product key easy install may require you to enter it during the installation process would you like to continue yes that's what we're gonna do and now I already have a XP VM going so I'm just gonna call this tech void version then let's click next uh, you can allocate how much space uh, you want for this virtual machine basically it's gonna act as a real hard drive in the virtual machine but it's not it's just taking p <coughs> this amount from your actual hard drive so I'm gonna give it I'll leave it as default 40 gigabytes that's okay uh, store virtual disk as a single file or split it to virtual disk into multiple files um either way it's okay Virtu as a single file uh sometimes it the files might if if something goes wrong with that one file then the entire vm might be uh it'll be harder to load up or transfer it so i'm going to leave it as split and go next and everything looks okay can go finish we can change these settings later on as well so right now it's okay if something's wrong with the VM or it's going slow then we can add more RAM or more hard disk space as we go so let's go finish and here we go it's gonna start up what's good about this is it's totally free VMware player there's a lot of software out there you have uh, uh, there's a virtual machine software from Microsoft there's oracles uh, I'm uh, it's o it's okay to use any of them but uh, VMware player is, comes in handy as well it's it's one of the pioneers basically so we'll wait until this loads we'll let all this go by this is it's now it's gonna act like it's actually installing on a real computer so I'll actually be pausing this and then I'll come back after the installation goes by. There's no there's no settings that I'll have to click in right here that you guys have to see. This is the default loading process. And once it comes to the next screen, I'll start the video again. One thing guys, well, while it's loading, I wanted to explain that basically these virtual machines, you can run it for any operating system. I'm just showing it for Windows XP because everybody's familiar with it. 
but uh, you can run it with any operating system may it be Linux, Solaris, anything for all the different distributions of Lin Linux, uh, Fedora, Red Hat, all those um, if you can grab an ISO for the Mac as well you can run those VMs um, and on top of that you can also run live CDs with VMware Player and I'll be using one in the future one of my future videos show you guys how to do that as well so as this continues to load I'll just pause it once more let it finish and I'll come back alright guys so the setup process completed loading and now it's basically restarting the computer's VM is acting like the computer is restarting and here we go I'll just full screen it so you guys can see how it looks as a real computer interface again right now it's a small screen here but once the actual OS loads then the same as any windows you can right click screen resolution make it bigger so I can fit it into my entire screen here this one's a 1920 by 1080 okay so while it's loading um, just like to explain you know how these operating system ISOs you can find these on the actual websites uh, Microsoft they might they sometimes give out the uh, test uh, ISOs right now Windows 8 they hasn't been released yet but for future purposes Microsoft has released the ISO for Windows 8 as well so you guys can download that try it out with VMware player see how it is see if you like it um, all the most of the Linux distributions that are free Ubuntu Fedora those you can download and try it as well I really suggest it that you guys go out and give it a try it's really good stuff and for the basic users who just like to test this out see how it works you can go ahead with um, something like Ubuntu which is very user friendly for Linux or you can get these the Windows ISOs once again I'll uh, pause it and then I'll come back when it's something that you guys would see as well on the screen alright guys so it came to the screen where it's asking me for the product key now after the loading so you guys didn't miss anything this is the next screen uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, type in my product key hit next and uh, then I'll be back typing in the key and uh, now we have to wait until it loads again alright guys so we're back and it finished loading now the VM is restarting let's see Windows XP in virtual machine style so basically one of the biggest advantages of virtual machines is you can be running your base operating system which is my Windows 7 here and at the same time you could be running an entire entirely different computer that's virtual within your actual Windows 7 operating system as if as it is for me you could be running something else you could be maybe your computer is Windows XP or Vista or something but through VMware player you could be running the v Windows XP virtual machine as I'm doing right now so it's booting up for the first time just acting like a new computer here so this is a fresh install oh. uh, it's thinking that it, there's a floppy drive here but that's not there looking for a CD drive but I can add these things afterwards keep in mind that uh, 
these virtual machine softwares, uh, like VM, VM, play, uh, VMware Player that I'm running, they're very, very advanced. So you could be setting up a computer, entirely virtual computer network, and these computers will, these virtual machines will be thinking that it's real, but everything's virtual. So y there's a lot of customization that you could do. You could do a lot of different things with this. It's very useful stuff. Again, I'm just showing you guys the basic installation setup here. You guys can go ahead and go crazy with this stuff <laughs> and figure out new things to do. Now, here we go. This is now we're done. This is Windows XP virtual machine loaded up. Everything's nice and freshly installed. So what I'll be doing is I'll be using this f for future installs. So that's it. This is a full computer, new computer installed. Uh, now it's just setting up VMware tools here, and um, after that, you're ready to go. You don't even have to install this. Basically, it's just to help your desktop and your virtual machine sync. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it will help you guys out. There's a lot of potential in this, and. Um, random fact for the day did you know that when you move your eye from one place to another the part in between the blurry part in between that's what you'd call motion blur that's the area that when you're, you're moving your eyes from one area to another it doesn't get memorized it doesn't get applied to the brain so that adds up in a total um, day, the amount of motion blur you have adds up to about 40 minutes. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it'll help you guys out. And please don't forget to subscribe, rate this video, and tell others. Thanks.